Now to our special reporting on fertility and the question so many struggling couples want answered. Why are they having miscarriages? Tonight, the cutting edge test preventing the number one cause of pregnancy loss. Doctors now able to get a complete genetic picture of your baby just five days after conception. Dinner for two right now, but soon baby will make three. 40-year-old Deborah Fisher finally pregnant after years of trying. I don't think that we would be pregnant without it. It's a new type of genetic test called Array Comparative Genomic Hybridization, or Array CGH. After months of trying, the couple had turned to fertility treatments. We've always had like six to ten embryos. They call them high-quality embryos. Good quantity and quality seen under the microscope. The perfect recipe for a healthy baby. But once back in Deborah's uterus, they didn't survive. And worse, doctors didn't know why. 30 failed embryos plus two early miscarriages. The couple couldn't take much more. One of the biggest frustrations as fertility specialists is our inability to determine which embryos that we have are capable of becoming healthy babies. Until now, studies show that 10 to 25 percent of all pregnancies will end in miscarriage. But using a Ray CGH, doctors can now see beyond the microscope to figure out why. Most miscarriages are due to chromosome problems in the embryo, either an extra chromosome or a missing chromosome. Now with this technology, we can determine that an embryo is normal and therefore much less likely to miscarry. Removing cells from the embryo, doctors analyze all 23 chromosomes. Before array CGH, the most they could test was 12. The resulting genetic picture, only halfway complete. We could call an embryo normal, yet some of the chromosomes we weren't testing for could be abnormal. Boston IVF is the only place in the Northeast offering it, and patients get results the next day. This is a major breakthrough. In fact, we can reduce, in some situations, the miscarriage rate to about 5%. After testing Deborah and Dan's embryo, as doctors discovered only 10% were genetically normal, implanting those embryos in Deborah's uterus. She's now due in July. Every time I hear of somebody who's going through IVF, I think, you know, stop wasting your time. <laughs> Get the test. Certainly big news. And right now, this test is only available to in vitro fertilization patients. However, there's hope that in the future, more women will benefit from it. Doctors are just starting to screen a mother's blood for fetal cells. And experts think that in the next few years, they'll be able to test those cells from the mother's blood for chromosomal defects in the fetus.